Houston, the International Space Station has a problem. And it's not because of a technical failure, but because of a financial one. Earlier this year, the White House announced it will end direct government funding of the ISS by 2025, throwing the future of the orbiting lab into question. So NASA has a bold new plan to save the ISS, turn it over to private companies who will run it as a commercial space lab. NASA is in contact with several companies around the globe about creating a consortium, one that would operate the ISS as a commercial entity, NASA Administrator Jim Bridenstine told the Washington Post this week. Bridenstine's comments are a follow-up to the White House's surprising announcement that it would end America's involvement in the ISS, which cost NASA about three to four billion dollars annually. But what makes privatization difficult is the international part of the International Space Station. That's because the ISS is managed by a partnership that also includes the space agencies of Russia, Europe, Japan, and Canada. Although NASA's own website hails the ISS as one of the most ambitious international collaborations ever attempted, financial concerns are changing the face of space travel at large. Federal funding is fizzling out, and NASA was forced to end its 30-year-old space shuttle program in 2011. That's why privatization has been so attractive. It's no longer federal agencies, but billionaires who are pouring money into spaceflight innovation, like Elon Musk's SpaceX. Jeff Bezos' Blue Origin, and Richard Branson's Virgin Galactic. At least for rocketry, it's starry-eyed entrepreneurs and their companies keeping the dream of space alive. NASA is hoping commercialization will save the ISS too. However, what exactly a privatized ISS would look like remains unclear. Hey, NBC News viewers, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.